Okay, for those who have been asking for it, it's finally here. For those who are new to Digico, welcome. We're super excited to announce the latest member of the Quantum family. Introducing the eagerly awaited Quantum 112. This small form factor console packs all the same sought after quantum features, as well as some new ones, into a neat and compact flyweight solution. The Quantum 112 is designed to be the ultimate fly pack console, condensing all the same connections and sound processing into a package that when transported in our custom Peli Air 1637, comes in at under 23 kilograms. That's 50 pounds for the US. For those looking for a more rugged option, we also have a dedicated flight case solution. The first thing you will notice is the same 17 inch high contrast capacitive touchscreen as our Quantum 225 and 326 and 338 consoles. Unique to the Quantum 112 is the new top bar, which gives a quick status indication on the console as well as the snapshot list, no matter which channels or page you're looking at. Above this bar are our two solo buses and our first set of smart keys with dedicated soft labels underneath for triggering macros as well as the talkback section. To the right of the screen is our dedicated hardware channel strip giving fine control over filters and EQ for the selected channel as well as quick controls over inserts and direct outs. Below the screen we have our quick select rotaries as well as 12 high quality 100mm motorized faders with mute and solo keys. To the left of these we find our headphone volume, which of course goes up to 11, and our first pair of headphone sockets, one big and one small, as well as the final six smart keys, giving a total of 16 across the console. To the right, we have reduced our master fader to a master rotary with a dedicated meter, and our snapshot section contains only the previous and next buttons. Don't worry, the Quantum 112 still has the same level of snapshot control as other Quantum consoles, just accessed from the master screen. Finally, we have the layer and bank switches with the Quantum 112 providing three layers of four banks. There's one special control you might not recognize located at the top of the hardware channel strip. Inspired by our flagship Quantum 852, the Quantum 112 features a single macroder, a rotary encoder with a signable control either globally or per channel. By default, it controls gain. We've dedicated this macroder to Frank, one of our beloved R&D production engineers who sadly passed away earlier this year. Frank loved motorcycles, and this feature is a tribute to him. Here's to you, Frank. Looking around the back, we have not wasted a single millimeter and have added many different options to connect to the console. At the very top, we have our local I.O. The Quantum 112's 16 XLR inputs is the highest number of any Quantum console, and coupled with the eight XLR outputs, provides ample local connections. We have the usual AES and MIDI I.O. and even the option for linear timecode through a dedicated SMPT input socket. Our GPIO is provided by quarter inch TS sockets, allowing for third party foot switches to easily interface with the console. We also have a duplicate pair of headphone sockets here. Moving lower down on the console rear panel, we have the standard set of MADI and SYNC BNCs, a 32 channel 48 kilohertz UB MADI USB interface, as well as two DMI slots. Our DMI cards offer a wide choice of digital audio protocols, such as AES3, and additional processors in the shape of the DMI Clang. Coupled with a network cable, the direct integration between the Quantum 112 and Clang means that 3D immersive in-ear mixes can now fly across the world. Unique to the Quantum 112, we now have a dedicated redundant Dante connection built into the console, perfect for quickly tying into already existing infrastructure or adding external hardware, such as the Fourier Transform Engine plugin host to your system, with 64 channels in and out at either 48 or 96 kilohertz sample rate. As with all our quantum consoles, we have plugin viewing and controlling from within the Transform Engine directly on the console screen. The Quantum 112 has an optional OptiCore connection, allowing the console to drop into any existing optical system and interface with all our premium SD rack I.O. options. In line with our other quantum consoles, we have a four port unmanaged network switch, display port for an overview screen, and USB for any keyboard and mouse connections. We've even managed to fit in two independent power supplies, giving you that peace of mind on the road that if one venue supply fails, the console can run on one supply just fine. Now we've looked at the outside, let's take a quick look inside at what the Quantum 112 can offer. With a maximum input channel count of 80, and 24 buses plus the master bus, coupled with a 12 by eight matrix and 12 control groups, the Quantum 112 provides a huge amount of processing power in a tiny form factor. 
On board, we also have 12 graphic EQs, eight effect slots, 24 nodal processors, 20 mustard channel strips, and six spice rack slots. There's an awful lot of console squeezed into a tiny frame. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more tips and tutorials on getting the most out of your Digico console. We hope to see you out on the road soon, mixing with the Quantum 112 or any of our consoles.